Uh, they were four to defeat here through Alawa, but a, a scoreline that really doesn't doesn't really show the way we played. Certainly not. I think, as I said to the boys, I'm so proud of their performance today. The 45 minutes in the first half was the best I've seen Stennis Moore play, and, and all the time, and the number of times I've been at the club, that's as good as I've seen us play. The boys were exceptional, and I don't think it'd have been a, an injustice if we'd gone in three or four up at half time. Second half. I know we've lost goals, but um, it's always going to happen when you play a champ. But they're going to come at you, they're going to try and get back in the game. And one or two contentious decisions that I didn't particularly think were right, but you know, they've got themselves back in the game. Even the goals we got, they got weren't great goals in our part. A couple of wee mistakes, I thought. But over the piece, I've no complaints about how they've played. And we, we, we did have a few. Uh we actually had four and four changes by Danny Mino who was suspended, uh, Craig Little and Tiffs are out mm -hmm. and um, I could, they're, they're out with the, the virus and um, they're isolating that saw Tommy Muir come and fill in at centre back. How do you think that went? Tommy was excellent. You know, as was Josh Greger, I've got to mention Josh Greger and Chris McQueen. The back three were as good as I could have hoped for. You know, the, the three of them settled in, never played together. Tommy's never played there in his life. Josh hasn't played for Stennis Muir, and Chris has had a, a game against, um, I think it was, maybe it was Livingston who played, so the three of them were exceptional, they really were, and as was Cameron Graham up front, I thought he worked his socks off, he didn't get the credit for the first goal, but there's no question it's his goal, um, as I say, the first half was, was outstanding, outstanding. And for the first time this season, we saw young Callum Yates coming off for Ryan Waters, who made his, was making his debut this season. Was there any reason for this change? Yeah, I think Ryan Waters deserves to be playing at some stage. He's worked hard, his attitude's first class, his ability's there. And they just felt he needed to, he needed to get some minutes under his belt. And there was no, Callum Yates again was outstanding. I think the boy just gets better and better in every game he plays for us. So, over the piece, as we spoke about this week, being used in a specific way and that was to get the game time, to get the cup out of the way and then really focus on their, the main priority which is obviously the league this season. And as you said, on to the league action next Saturday we've still got obviously Tiffs and Craig Little out, They're, they'll be self-isolating. Is it going to be somewhat the same team selection do you think? Well we'll see, yeah, we've got a few decisions to make, we'll, just, we'll regroup on Tuesday, we'll assess everybody. Um, one or two we, we protected Botty for example today, he would, he would have been slightly strange so we didn't really risk him. So what I would say is the boys that came in today have given me a real dilemma about who plays and who misses out. So it's a good good problem to have as any manager would probably tell you but as I say I'm so proud of the team today, absolutely delighted with their performance. And Martin Shields came back on the bench today. Uh, we obviously know about Graham Swift being out for the rest of the season. Have you got any other updates from the likes of Chris Kane? Chris will be training with us next week. Um, I'm looking forward to getting Chris back into, this, into the, the way of things. So, um, that'll be a big addition. It was a big sign for us, so we had a chance to, to use him at all this season. So we're looking forward to getting Chris back in, involved. So. And David Hopkirk? Hoppy's still a wee bit away. Um, slow process with his calf, so we'll just monitor it. Um, he'll be another few weeks away from it. So. David, well done. Thanks. Thank you.